वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाल ई एम प्रोफेसर वेमूर वेंकटरमणारे डैरेक्टर श्री वेंकटेश्वर ओरएंटल रिसर्च इंस्ट्यूट श्री वेंकटेश्वर यूनिवर्सीटी इन दिस पेपर वैदिक एपिक्स इन पुराणा कल्चर ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस टॉपिक वी डेल्ट विद द ऑरिजिन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रामायण बिफोर गोइंग टू द इंट्रोडक्शन द ऑरिजिन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रामायण there are some important occasions in this chapter before writing the ramayana adikavi valmiki asked some questions says narada i want to write a ideal kavya an ideal mahapurusha then narada replied that oh valmiki you see the rama is the ideal person तपस्वाध्याय निरतम तपस्वी वाग्यरांबरम नारदम परिपप्रच वाल्मीकि मुनिपुंगवम दिस इज द आंसर बे द वाल्मीकि ओ वाल्मीकि यू प्लीज ग्रो टू द हिस्टमास हिस्टरी ही इज द कॉन्टेम्पररी आइडियल पर्सन इन दिस वर्ल्ड प्लीज यू गो टू द हिस्टरी ऑफ रामा टू राइट द आदि काव्य देन वाल्मीकि बिगिन्स द Uh, ramayana mahakavya that's why he became the adikavi ramayana became the adikavya the adikavya ramayana is the one of the indian best classical in the world not only in india it is popular entire world that's why ramayana sang in the various various languages in various places in various countries first of all the ramayana story sang by the ramas sons only love and kugusha this is the introduction of the srimad uh, ramayana written by says valmiki learning objects of the project module learn about the origin of ramayana evolution the evolution of ramayana in india evolution of ramayana in the globe how time lines of ramayana calculated ramayana is considered as adi kavya of indian literature it has evolved in various languages of indian at various stages of history there are many versions available all over the world but the base of all these flowers is considered as valmiki ramayana in this context we have to explain something about the historicity of ramayana ramayana is not a devotional story it is the historical work also in this work itself rama the valmiki told that ishwaku vamsa prabhu ramo nama janasutah in this shloka he explained about the dynasty of sri rama and also flavors of the ramayana story in this context of the in this shloka indians are the one of the oldest civilization of the planet as indians we are really proud of our ancient history and cultural heritage of india there is one man who influenced and touched the hearts of billions of thousands of years it is not only in india but also all over the world rama's glory is sung rama is one of the greatest men liked by both common men and elite and alike his strength of character is sri rama the hero of ramayana kavya ramayana's emergence in the innumerable versions in the various languages is discussed here the time lines of the epic characters evaluated by the puranic and scientific astrological means that's why in the shri rama rama rameti rame rame manorame sahasra nama tatulyam ranana rama nama varanane that is the importance and all the devotional and mythical evidence of ramas name as the important the indian devotional picture ramayana in india valmiki is the author of great indian epic ramayana valmiki and sri rama were the contemporaries valmiki has a unique place as an author one can conclude that he has written his ramayana as a history not as a devotional book during his life time in exile in the forest sri rama visited valmiki ashramam valmiki ramayana contains descriptions and reference to the ancient term for this evidence i say the valmiki and rama were the contemporaries in the valmiki ramayana valmiki itself tell in the one shloka ikshvaku vamsa prabhu ramo nama janasutah mahurasku mahubahu gudajitta dadavindama the that is shloka that rama and the valmiki are the contemporaries and also 
in another sloka also valmiki indicates rama and valmiki are the contemporaries asmin sampradaye asmin samprati loke konvasmin samprati loke uh, in this word valmiki told that rama and i contemporaries valmiki completed writing the ramayana in 24000 verses the ramayana epic is divided into seven kandas it is called sections bala ayodhya aranya kishkinda sundara yuddha uttarakandas there are many ramayanas but they are all written much later and of all refer to the sir valmiki in this context i want to refer some names in all indian languages so many ramayanas were written but the, they are all written on the basis of valmiki ramayana they took the episodes from the valmiki in the ramayana only and also valmiki followed the meter chandas harishtu only but later ramayanas they took their own interpretations and also they took own chandas to to write the ramayana in various languages at the beginning of poetry in india and the first poet ramayana is the adikavyam ramayana is the first poetry available in india composed by the valmiki this has served as a role model for the later poets tulasidas kamban kabir das malla ranganatha chagaraja etc there are as many as 300 versions of this great indian epic poem the oldest version is generally recognized to be the sanskrit version attributed to the sage valmiki in this context i want to refer you one sloka because the valmiki ramayana first poem it is the machchanda deva pravartyam saraswati this is the word uttered by the valmiki itself in the ramayana later poets will the follow the chandas as followed by me only that is the important all later poets are the followed the uh, uh, Val, valmiki's rule for the poetishness and also classic beauty of ramayana adikavi valmiki ramayana was the first mythical work dealing with the secular subject and hence it is called adikavyam the author valmiki is known as adikavi valmiki maharshi invented sloka that is first verse or epic meter and has set the base for the sanskrit poetry valmiki is celebrated as harbinger poet in the sanskrit literature as for the evidence he lived in the first millennium of bca ramayana in various indian languages even years after valmiki many poets have described the story of ramayana in their own words and own style till the date there are many poets of ramayana has found in the history of indian literature the original valmiki version has been adopted or translated into various regional languages that's why valmiki and also ramayana influenced the various indian languages for the for the follow of this epic in telugu he some poets differ the valmiki's episodes they only created their narratives but without disturbing the original characters that is the importance that is the greatness of ramayana here under a few of the most prominent sanskrit verses of ramayana many sanskrit poets adopted valmiki's narrative there are other peripheral stories ajatma ramayana or spiritual ramayana is extracted from the brahmanda purana which considered as an work of vedavyasa it is thought to be the inspiration of tulasidas ramachandra manas in avadi ajatma ramayana tells the story from the perspective of ramas divinity it is organized in the seven kandas just like valmiki you see that ajatma ramayana of tulasidasa he he mentioned the first sloka praying the goddesses saraswati vigneshwara both also it is the influence of rama vardanam artha sanganam rasanam chandasam api mangalanam cha kartaro vande vani vinayaku it is the prarthana sloka of 
రామచరితమానస్ తు తులసిదాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్సెస్ మీద వాల్మీకి రామాయణ వశిష్ట రామాయణ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కామన్లీ నోన్ యాజ్ ద యోగ వాసిష్ట దిస్ వర్క్ ఈజ్ ట్రెడిషనలీ అట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ టు ద వాల్మీకి ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ డైలాగ్ బిట్వీన్ వశిష్ట అండ్ రామ వశిష్ట క్లారిఫైస్ మెనీ ఆర్ ద ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ అద్వైత వేదాంత ఇట్ ఇంక్లూడ్స్ many anecdotes and illustrative stories and also vasishta ramayana influenced not only sri rama but the entire india and the advaita philosophy methods in vasishta ramayana he told about the systems of yoga education systems ashrama systems which is also followed by the uh, valmiki edata ramayana mainly in vasishta ramayana he explained about the yoga systems how to control the body samatsama yoga vachati as bhagavad gita told in the same manner in vasishta ramayana also vasishta explains the rama about the yoga shastra samatsama yoga vachati yoga samyagame gnanam samyagaveshanam dokramo chittanasasya yogo gnanam cha raghava yoga tatruddhi rodhi gnanam samyagaveshanam this is the verse attacked by the uh vasishta ramayana to sri rama and the contest of teaching of yoga lagu yoga vasishta by abhinandan of kashmir is an abbreviated version of yoga vasishta ananda ramayana is traditionally attributed to valmiki while it briefly recounts the traditional story of rama in this context i want to say one thing so many poets and writers written uh, ramayana but for the they put the name of valmiki as a author because of the popularity of this work all of these people put the authorship uh, authorship attributed to the valmiki agastya ramayana is also traditionally attributed to agastya adbhuta ramayana traditionally attributed to valmiki includes related stories of rama its emphasis is on the role of sita and includes an expanded story the circumstances of her birth as well as the account of her defeat of ravana's older brother as also known the ravana but with the thousand heads in puranas in so many places ravana described as thousand headed demon but in valmiki ramayana he revealed that the ten headed demon is the ravana hindi goswami tulasidas ramacharitmanas of the all the indian origin of ramayanas ramacharitmanas has the special place in india especially in north india goswami tulasidas is the author of his version of ramayana tulasidas was born to the holsi and atmaram shukla dubey in rajpur uttar pradesh india in 1532 he was considered as an incarnation of says valmiki it is said that the tulasidas met lord hanuman and through him had a vision of sri rama lord rama out of tulasidas 12 books the most famous is the ramacharitmanas that is read with the great rivers in north india he was cremated at the asi ghat in holy varanasi on the banks of ganges river telugu kavayatri malla malla ramayanam tamil kambar kambar ramayana kambar ramayana was written by kamban was born in the 9th century near tanjore in his epic there are 10418 verses in six kandas with no uttara kanda this poem is the great epic in tamil literature mostly kamban gives is a narration in the colors of his own times of place and still in kamba ramayana sri rama is the supreme lord evolution of ramayana in global languages as already i told the ramayana influence in not only in india it influence has spread in so many countries ramayana has spread to the many asian countries outside of india which have often been marked more or less by the plot twists of thematic adaptations in various forms of the original ramayana has found in non indian languages such as chinese cambodian indonesia filipino thai burmese and malaysian etc the famous works of out of this side india are thai ramkin old jawnis kakavin ramayana 
Kemir Rimenkar, Lavo Pera, Lak Pera, these are the Ramayanas already popularly known in the globe. Archaeological evidences. The widespread prominence of Ramayana Kavya all over India and abroad proves it is not a fiction. It is a story of great Indian ruler who lived times back. The substance the Ramayana is not only fictionist creation. There are many evidences in support such as archaeological, Puranic, geographical, astronomical. Is Ramayana is the part of Indian history? In Ayodhya, in 1975, the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI it is called in abbreviations, unearthed 14 pillar based of Kasaguti stone with Hindi motives. Rama was born in the Ayodhya and married in Mithila, now in Nepal. Mithila is Sita Matri, where Sita was found in a furrow, still revered as the Janaki Kund, constructed by her father, King Janaka. Rama and Sita left Mithila for Ayodhya via Lumbini. In 249 BC, King Ashoka erected a pillar in Lumbini with an inscription referring to the visits by both Rama and Buddha to the Lumbini. Archaeological evidences Sri Lanka also has the relics of Ramayana. There are several caves such as Ravana, Elia Falls, where Ravana is believed to have hidden Sita to prevent Rama from the finding her. The Sitai Amman temple at Numara Eli is situated near Ashoka Vatika, where Ravana once kept her the prisoner. Geographical evidences Rama and Lakshmana and Sita left Ayodhya and went to Srangaviripura. Modern Srangaviripur is in Uttar Pradesh, where they crossed the river Ganga. They lived on the Chitrakut Hill, where Bharata and Sitrugna met them and brothers performed the last rites for their father. They wandered through Tandakaranya in central India, described as a land of demands. Tribals are still found in this forest. The Tio reached Nasik and the river Godavari, which thrums with the sights and the events of still in Rama's journey through a Tapovan Panchavati near Badrachalam, where the Ravana abducted Sita. Raman Lakshmana, in search of Sita, moved to Kishkinda near Hampi. He is a major Ramayana site. Anjanadri, near Hospet, was the birthplace of Hanuma. Sugriva lived in the Rishamuka on the banks of Pampa, now Tungabhadra. Rama and the Vanara army reached Rameshwaram, where they built a bridge to reach Lanka from Dhanushkoti on Rameshwaram Island to the Talai Manar in the Sri Lanka, while parts of the bridge as known as Autumn Bridge are still visible. NASA's satellite has photographed an underwater man-made bridge of the Sholas in the parks of states connecting Danish Koti and Talai Manar. Puranic evidences. Our great Maharshis have systematically divided the period of Srishti into the Manvantaras. Each Manvantara is further divided into the Chaturyugas. Each Chaturyugas consists of the Krita, Satya Yuga, Treta, Dwapara, Kali. The present Manvantara is Vaivasvata Manvantara. So far, 27 Manvantara Chaturyugas have already been passed. In this context, I want to mention one thing. Present in every puja system, in every, every performance, in the Sankalpa, we recall the Manvantaras, Vaivasvata Manvantare, Kaliyuge, Pradhamapade, Jambudvipe, Bharata Varshi, Bharata Kande. This is the form for the geographical uh, measurements of the land also indicated in Ramayana. Right now, it is the 28th. Chaturyuga, and we are still the, in the first charan period of the Chaturyugi. It is a well-known fact that Rama was born during the latter part of Treta. Hence, if we assume that Rama was born in the present Chaturyugi, then it means that he was born at, at least one lakh years ago. The period of his birth will probably be more than this. However, why Purana provides us the Correct chronological period of the Ramayana, if we take Vaipurana's period into the consideration, then the period of Rama becomes at least 18 lakhs years old. Hence, we can easily conclude that the period of Rama 
in the time scale is the at least 18 lakhs years puranic evidences in ancient indian literature puranas gives us various accounts of dynasties and places which are historical prominence descriptions about fauna and fauna gives evidences some evidences given below when hanuma traveled to the sri lanka in the search of sita over there he saw elephants having four tusks it is up to biological to ascertain when did such elephants exist on the earth another interesting fact that has been mentioned in valmiki's ramayana is that the journey from the maternal home of bharata and satrugna to the ayodhya they crossed many places rivers and some places with covered by the snow matches with the modern day of afghanistan and uttar pradesh in this context i want to mention one thing in kalidasa also in kumara sambhava he mentioned his first shloka about the birds birds of india birds of india like in ramayana also ashyuttara syam disadevatatma himalayo nama nagadi rajah purva paro toya nidhi vigahya sthita pragruhya iva manadandah so that we we want to learn that the puranas and also itihasas not only the de- de- devotional and mythological works these are the historical works also astrological evidence is based on the planetary positions using planetarium's gold software these are all the pictures for the evidence of astrological evidence it is a modern software the historical evidence can be mainly by astronomy some historians use the modern software as of now many scientists based on the astronomical data have profounded that rama existed around 7000 bc they have arrived at the conclusion based on using astronomy software which can give astronomical positions accurately to the centuries backwards it is based on comparison with the planet positions mentioned by the valmiki in the various instances rama had completed 17 years of his age at his coronation rahu takes the 18 lakhs 5992 years to the completes its rotation therefore before 17 years the rama's birth rahu must have been near its original position in the aries acquired from us the software named the planetarium gold of forgive publishing which is used to be predict the solar and lunar eclipses and distance and the location of other planets from earth by the scientists and the astronomers at the time of coronation of rama his father dasaratha says the sun and mars and rahu are at my nakshatra he talked like he, this in chaitra when the sun always resides on earth it indicates that dasaratha's nakshatra was allies Rama has completed 17 years of his age at his coronation. Rahu takes 18.5992 years to complete his rotation. Therefore, before 17 years at Rama's birth, Rahu must have been near his original position in Aries. Many scholars calculated that 7,323 BC as the year of Rama's birth, planetarium gold will be so how all this planet show the positions as told by the valmiki then i just my suggestion is you go to see the everything in rama's birth in the planetarium gold it will show everything from this positions of the planets if we calculate we find the positions 17 years later which are similar to those recorded by the valmiki at the time of coronation by deeper calculations rama's birth date was confined as the 4th december 7323 bc by similar calculations scientists found out the dates rama's marriage at the 7th april 7307 bc and bhadrapada suddhatri uttara palguna nakshatra now we are following the same thing they went to the forest on 29th november 7306 bc on thursday valmiki mentions thursday when rama's coronation was proposed but he had to go to forest on the same day the weekdays are being used in india since 
Taitriya Samhita 8300 years BC. Ravana was killed on the 15th November 7292 BC. The war took place from 3rd November to 15th November 7292 BC. These are all astronomical evidences. Conclusion. Ramayana is considered as the most popular creation and historical epic created by Sage Valmiki. It is a powerful story, though it is very simple events in the life of Sri Rama. People from ages read, listened and underwent scarcity since the ages. It is told and retold multiply times in many languages and considered many sacred epic all over the world. Oral literature transmits culture from one generation to next, creating the sense of community. The Ramayana in India has retained his continuity due to its religious significance. Often oral literature is propagated through the voice of people. Ramayana also proved that the, it is not just a fictional work. It recorded many of historical evidences, celestial, astronomical, facts and physics evidences like Rama Setu. Finally, I want to say one sloka about the importance and the greatness of Ramayana. It is said that the greatness of Ramayana and Adhikavi Valmiki, there is one verse written by the Indian Maharshis. Yavasthasyante girayaha Saritascha Mahitale Tavad Ramayana Kata Lokeshu Pracharishati. The sloka indicates as in the earth, sun and Mars, etc., planets live, the Ramayana will live. That is the Ramayana is not a uh, poem, it is like a Veda, it is a um, Sanatana work, it is eternal work, it is the important great classic of India. Further any references you contact with the e-part seller.